how to use the Phantasm plugin with Gradient in Illustrator. Now I'm using the latest version of Phantasm. First thing to do, just go to the window and Phantasm and Phantasm panel. Now this plugin is from Astute Graphics. It's a great plugin. It comes with a number of features that you can use. You've got a lovely panel with a load of exposure, hue and saturation, brightness, etc. And you can modify these settings. These are live effect settings to actually remove that live effect. Once you've actually applied very quick live effect to change that gradient, it's just by clicking that little uh, cross there. You can also click on the left side and you see a little uh, thumbnail there. And you can actually bring up the panel, brightness contrast panel, and you can modify all the various settings. There's various things for fill, stroke, etc. text you can use. Now, once you've actually created it, you've got the key thing here, I think, is a combination of the Phantasm panel and Appearance panel. All can be found in the Windows menu. And you can see the Phantasm entry there. You can actually, what you can do, you can drag it up and put it into the fill. So if you just want to just use it with the fill, just drag that up instead of using it with a whole lot of different settings. And again, you can go through, change it, and it changes all the colours in that gradient. There's basic, there's advanced, there's a Obviously the basic one reduces most of the settings. Most of the advanced ones you might never use, up to you really. You can just click OK, and you can obviously then use many others. You can actually go right side, you can duplicate an item. So you just see there, you can duplicate it. So you've now got two entries for the brightness and contrast for the Phantasm. You can of course remove them at any point, you can just disable it by that little eye at the side. You can modify the settings again. Now. This one, I'm just, just changing the various other settings, hue and saturation and lightness. We'll make, obviously, desaturate it. There's other ones there as well. You just go down and see a whole range of different things. Great for all kinds of colour effects. Obviously with type, with gradients, with standard paths, images and much more. That's Phantasm. It's a, it's a Stu Graphics plugin for Illustrator, CC 2018 and other versions. You have to find it on the website various things. So what you can do again drag that one up into the fill if you want to use it there. You can move it around the entries around and you can of course just click on it at any point and change all the settings if you want to do that. Again you can also yeah, curves, click and cancel, you can go for your duo tone, okay, cancel and there's also a lovely half tone effect which is great for creating really really wonderful sort of designs using half tones. Right, so that's a key combination of appearance and phantasm. And once you've done that, what you can do then, you can see you've got uh, the gradients there. You can actually duplicate that fill. You can go up there, just select that, and then just go right side and duplicate. And what happens, of course, is that all of the phantasm ones are also, so also duplicated as well. So you've got the uh, thing. And then you can just modify the settings, some more subtle than others. And actually, if you haven't got the correct blending mode, if you haven't got the thing, you will notice no difference. So you can try and make certain you've got the actual blending mode between the two actually change like something like difference. And you can see there. You can also, of course, at that point, go over to the gradient tool and modify the gradient as well. Just change it so you can see, see subtle colour changes there between the two. It might be very subtle. There might be no changes at all in some of the settings. So you just might not see anything. Like I say, you go to greens, you move that around, you might not get anything if there's nothing particularly to change in that image. So like I say, you've got all those entries, you've got three entries there, you've got, you can have more than that, you can have four, five, six, seven, eight, just keep adding lots of different effects, you can duplicate them. And as I go through there, you've got the master one there, you just change that, hue saturation, go there, lightness, click OK, and you see they've got a different setting now from all the other ones. And of course you can go and change the gradient. If you don't want to use that gradient, you can go and change a different gradient. Use different blending modes as well. So just run through all the different options there. So again, select that. And get rid of that one if you don't want that one. And at the end result, you've got some really wonderful gradient designs created very quickly using this Phantasm plugin as well as Appearance panel just to combine the two. Really useful. Anyway, hope you found this tutorial of interest. Thank you much.